Let's see if this has a dipole, or does it use the term dipole moment? Uh, dipole yeah. moment. Okay, it does it have a dipole moment, which means does it have a net dipole, or that also means is it polar? All the same terminology, or similar. So what do you think is the center of most atom? Carbon. Carbon, how do you know that? Carbon. Yeah, it's written in the middle, that's helpful. Another way you could say it, carbon is almost always internal. There's very few examples where it's not. Uh, halogens are almost always on the outside, terminal. And so chlorine is a halogen. And hydrogen is almost always terminal. So for many reasons, you can put that chlorine in the middle. First, though, we need valence electrons. That's equal. There's two hydrogens in column one. There's a one carbon in column four. And there's two chlorines in column seven. That's 14, and another 4 is 18, 19, 20. So, <coughs> 2, 4, 6, 8. Just starting, drawing the bonds, I have 8 of 20. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Why didn't I put lone pairs on hydrogen? It's already filled up. Yeah, yeah, you would. Hydrogen only takes two maximum, okay? Except for, it have to be a very unusual situation where it didn't. But the chlorine will want to fill up the terminal ones, and chlorine definitely can take those lone pairs. So, uh, how many groups on carbon? No. Well, four. four. So, so it is called tetrahedral. tetrahedral. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, what do you think? Is it polar or not? It looks symmetrical. It looks symmetrical. Yeah, definitely. What's the problem, though? I haven't done something yet that I need to do first before I can tell if it's symmetrical or not. Uh, not quite. It's, it's tetrahedral. I have to draw a tetrahedral. How did I draw it? This is square planar as I've drawn it. I've drawn it flat. I need to draw a tetrahedral. Tetrahedral looks like this. Where two are in the plane of the board. One's we draw typically as a wedge, looking like a triangle. That means it's coming towards you. And the other one as a dash, meaning it's going away from you. It looks like this, which I will also pass around. This is a tetrahedral shape, okay? So you can kind of take a look at it as it comes around. That's what exactly what this would look like. All right, I'll put one hydrogen here. Where should I put the second one? The other bond. You're gonna find out it's irrelevant. Put, put them wherever you want, you will get the same answer, okay? Uh, for, for tetrahedral, unless all four groups are different, it's not going to matter. Okay, now, take a look at the way I've drawn it. Is it symmetrical? No. There's going to be a dipole. There will be a net dipole or what's called a, a dipole moment. Where will it be pointing if I had to draw that net dipole? To the right. Towards the chlorines because... Chlorine's more electronegative? Yeah, chlorines are most electronegative. It'll look something like that. Going that direction. Okay, so yes, the net dipole. Uh, yes, it's polar. And tetrahedrals will be that way um, unless all four groups are identical. Unless you have four identical groups on a on a tetrahedral compound, it's going to be polar. Oh, 